Hello Amigas. In this episode, we are going to crack and add infinite energy to Amiga game, Heroes of the Lance. First thing to know, this is a 1988 game released by US Gold based on the Dragonlance novel and series of Dungeons and Dragons. This is a non-DOS game, so it means that it does not uses the standard Amiga DOS format. Unlike DOS applications, data is often loaded on fixed addresses instead of being relocated dynamically by operating system. So now let's speed up the loading video until the first game screen will show. For our purpose, we'll use Action Replay 3 for debugging and eventually break the protection by replacing the original code with our. Here we go. Let's break to action replay until we reach a random address in the game code. If no expansion RAM is expected to be used, address location will probably break in the chip memory range from zero to 80,000 hex value. Now I'm using TR command to go further until I found some conditional branches. One of these branches could be decisive for let me pass into the game, instead of blocking and showing the incorrect word message. Okay, at this point we have found a pair of conditional branches. We can place a breakpoint above the first one and see what happens. The Z flag is clear here, so the instruction is ignored and the program counter will continue to the instruction below. That's interesting. Early after we passed the JSR instruction, the incorrect answer message is displayed. Most likely, hacking that conditional branch may do the difference. So what we are going to do is to replace the BQ command with the unconditional branch BRA instruction. I do the same for the second conditional branch instruction. I guess the program counter will pass there when asking for the correct answer after the first fail. Now I press return key. See what happens. Good. We had successfully skipped the protection layer and now we can enjoy the game. 